Okay, we're rolling. We've got our patient, Leo the Lion. Leo, how you doing, my friend? So good. You're doing awesome, huh? It's a Friday afternoon. He's been looking forward to this. We've got the Gumby Jean helping out. Hey, and uh, we're going to take a little cyst. you got a cyst uh, at the back of your neck here, right? Yes, sir. How long you had it there? I think probably around a year. About a year? How long has it been bothering you? A couple weeks. A couple of weeks. Has it ever drained or anything like that? It stayed small for a long time and then yeah. just swelled up on me. We can really feel it in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I and mean, you can feel it when I do that. Sorry about that. Okay, so we're gonna put a little betadine on here. We've got this mostly taped off and this will be fine. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna numb this up, make a little incision, take this cyst out, throw in some stitches and send you out to have fun for the weekend. How's that sound? Sounds good. I made that sound real good, didn't I, Coach? <laughs> well, hopefully it will be pretty good like that. All right, and you're okay if we video your procedure for all our friends on YouTube? Yes, sir. Okay. So the first part's the hardest part when we'd have to do the numbing here, okay? So you're going to feel a little cold spray. Gummy Jean's going to spray. See a little white oh, spot sorry. right there? There we go. And then he's going to feel... Stick sting and a burn. Stick sting and a burn. There it comes. This is the worst part. This is 1% uh, lidocaine with, with Epi. Epi. Yep. Yes. Buffered. Buffered. So now we're going to give you a few minutes to let that anesthesia really do its job. All right. All righty. Be back with you in a moment. All right, folks, we're back with Leo the Lion. Leo, how you feeling over here, my friend? Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. Well, we're about to make the first incision. Oh. This is a newer one. It's a pretty looking she little. I wanted to see how you like those. Yeah. And feel a little bit of pressure, but you shouldn't feel any sharp pain, okay? Okay. If you do, you tell me. A little pressure is okay. A sharp pain is not okay. So we're just making an incision in the skin right now. 15 blade. Yeah, we do have a little bit of special there. We're going to go ahead and take a culture. Send that out. Maybe. Um, I'm just going to need to do a little squeeze here is what I'm going to need to do and kind of get some of this fun stuff out. Good. So it was very wet. Some of that we injected in. Some of that was the fluid that uh, from the anesthesia that we injected in there, but that creamy yellow color, that was already there. So that's probably why it was hurting. It was uh, holding fluid or building up fluid. So what we're gonna need now, Gumby Jean, are the uh, hemostats, please. Thank you. Open that up a little bit. You feeling anything, bud? Just pressure. I have uh, a uh, cotton tipped applicator, please, ma'am. Yeah, this actually goes pretty deep. You feeling any pain? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit of discomfort? Let me have the rest of that uh, numbing medicine, please, ma'am. Thank you. Wow, she is on top of the game. So we're just looking for sac. This is not a very old cyst, so the uh, the sac's gonna be a lot thinner, probably a lot easier to remove, but not quite as satisfying from the video standpoint because usually we like to see a pretty pearly sac come out, but uh, when, they're, when they're newer like this, they don't always come out so smoothly. They come out little pieces. Not as painful this time, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, numbing medicine worked. All right. Get another little push here, see if anything comes up. Yeah, there's a little more in there.
So I'm worried about the depth of this. Uh, the fact that it goes way in there, my friend. What does that mean? Well, it means that sometimes when we get into these things, instead of seeing a nice shiny little cyst, what we have is a whole bunch of pus or a whole bunch of liquid-like protonaceous material and we don't have a discrete sac to remove, so we don't know if we've actually gotten it all or not, okay? And there's not a way to really know. So the best way to prevent this from returning is to go ahead and pack it with uh, an antibacterial kind of packing material uh, that will uh, prevent this from returning. And also there's the potential that that actually was infected and that's why that was causing you so much pain. Mm. Usually these aren't very painful, yours was. Now it doesn't have an odor or anything that would suggest it was infected, but sometimes they don't. Yeah, well, I think I just messed with it a little too much. You probably did. That's what we all tend to do when we've got these things. We squeeze on them, we mess with them. Sometimes that gets rid of them, but sometimes it doesn't. So we'll send the, the culture. We did a little culture, a little wound culture, and we sent that off and we'll send it and see what comes back as far as if any bacteria grow or not. We'll just do a little flush in there. Thank you, ma'am. And I am ready. Thank you. Now we're going to put a little gauze in, if I can find the end here. There we go. And the gauze you'll just leave in and come back on Monday and then we'll remove the gauze and check it out and repack it, okay? Okay. Are we doing stitches or no? No, no stitches with this one. We want to leave this open so it can drain. Again, we're not sure if that was infection or not. It certainly looked like pus that came out, but it, these kinds of cysts can fool us. Sometimes it'll look like pus and it's not, and uh, sometimes it'll we'll be pretty sure that's not pus and turn out that we've got a staph infection. So. When you're not sure, the best thing to do is to go ahead and pack it open mm -hmm. and let it heal from the inside out, okay? And that way, um, we can be sure that we don't have an infection that sort of abscesses deep into the wound. Is it a different healing process now? Yeah. Now, instead of us closing it off and just having you back in a week to have the stitches out, we have to have you back on Monday. We'll probably need to, we'll need to remove this packing then and at that point, we'll take a look and see if we need to repack it or not, okay? We probably will need to repack it, but we won't know until we see it. All right, then. Yeah, sometimes uh, things don't go as you expect. Sometimes they don't uh, do what you think they're gonna do. But we knew this one was a cyst because we could kind of see a punctum at the top. We could see uh, a little dot or a spot that looked like it was the head, so to speak, of the wound, okay? Scissors, please, ma'am. So, uh, Gumby Jean's gonna put a little dressing on this and we'll see you back on Monday. We'll remove this packing and we'll take a look and see what we've got. We won't have information back on the culture for at least 72 hours, okay? So there's a real good chance that on Monday we're not gonna have any information back on that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put you on some antibiotics, okay? Okay. All right, and... Uh, I like that. You stay right where you are. And uh, the antibiotics will help make sure that if that's infection in there that uh, it doesn't spread and that we get this under control. We've got a little tag hanging out back here, but uh, it shouldn't cause you any trouble, okay? This may ooze a little bit. Don't be surprised if it does. If so, you can replace the dressing, but leave that packing in the wound. It's very important, okay? Mm -hmm. now, the worst thing that could happen right now would be for that packing to come out and that wound to close off at the top and then an abscess reform. And then we'd have to end up opening it up all over again. We don't want to do that for you, okay? We don't mm -hmm. want to have to do that to you either. All right, so we're gonna remove the packing first. Do you have the uh, forceps? Did you bring some forceps? I did it. Okay, that's all right. We don't really need them. So you had a rough weekend. This uh, obviously uh, gave you some pain, right? We're gonna mm -hmm. pull this out. One, two, three. Yeah, it looks pretty rotten. Okay. Did it drain much? Did you have any drainage that showed up on the, the dressing? Uh, 
Yeah. A little bit the first day. Yeah. Um, and then a little bit yesterday, I think. Okay, so we have a little lidocaine we're gonna squirt in here so we can numb this up for you, okay? It might sting just a little bit as it goes in. No needle, it's just medicine just kind of going into the opening of the wound. So how's this process gonna be? Well, we're just going to put some packing in. Keep on keeping on? Just keep on keeping on. We're gonna let this heal from the bottom up uh, and we'll keep packing it until this sort of stays open on its own, okay? Once it stays open, then we don't have to keep packing anymore. Maybe by the end of this week. So we'll pack this today and we'll ask you to come back on uh, Wednesday morning. Can you do mornings okay? I mean... Or late morning, like 11.30. Yeah, I don't mean super early. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, that'd be fine. And then we'll probably end up doing the same thing on Friday. And if Our goal will be to, to, to not have to do any more packing after Friday. We'll really hope for that, okay? Yeah, in the good old days when they taught me to do this, we didn't use any lidocaine at all. We just stuffed it in there. I always thought it was kind of cruel. I think I was right. I think that's good. Okay. Right there, let me get the scissors. I'll cut that. We're gonna get you through this, Mr. Leo, I promise. I appreciate it. All right, so she's gonna put a little dressing over this for you. Gummy Jean will put a dressing over this for you again. And uh, just like before, we need you to leave that alone. And we will see you on Wednesday around uh, 11-ish, okay? Yes, sir. Any questions, buddy? No, okay. sir. So hang in there. This this too shall pass, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, thanks. Okay. Over here. We're back with Leo the Lion. Leo, my friend, how you doing, bud? Pretty good. You're over all this, aren't you? Yes. You've had enough of it. We got Gumby Jean. Hey, guys. Got I'm a on smile the camera. There. there you are. And we got Linda. Okay, so Linda is a brand new certified practicing nurse practitioner, and we're going to have her repack this. So we'll let Gumby Jean gonna remove it, okay. and then Linda's going to repack. So okay, love it on the count of three. One, two, three. There we go, bud. Okay. So right. have we gotten any cultural results back yet that we know about? No. I have not seen anything yet. Okay, so we'll do another check on that. And we're gonna squirt some lidocaine in here, Miss Linda. Do you see what we're going, what we're doing? Sorry, it's gonna burn. Little burn. We're gonna squirt a little lidocaine in because we have to repack the wound. It's hard to see. Let me get over here. There we go. Just nice and easy. There we go. She's great. Gummy Jean is awesome. I've seen this done a few times. I know. So the lidocaine will help the repacking go easier. So we're gonna wait just a moment and let that lidocaine work, and then we'll have Linda pack it for you. Okay, bud. Right. Just take it easy. We're ready to go. We got Linda now is going to do our packing. I don't want it. There we go. I want to be sure we can see. You know what I find is easier to do is to use the other end of the uh, cotton tipped applicator. There you go. Just be gentle. She's probably gentler than I am. Right, Leo? Yeah. Not too bad. Man, she's, she is blocking. You are big time. There you go. I want to see. Don't be a blocker, Linda. So did you have much drainage this time since we saw you on Monday? Not really, no. Okay, so it's been two days since uh, we did the first repacking and uh, we did the initial incision and drainage on Friday, right? Yes, sir. So this coming Friday will be a week out. I'm hoping, hoping that when we see you this Friday and that's when we'll want you to come back, that um, we're not gonna have to repack this anymore. I'm gonna pray. We'll pray about that, okay? Yes, sir. Yeah, just go to the right now. The left is packed up. And it may be, that may be all you need. If it feels really firm and full, you don't have to keep, you know, pushing. Okay, that's good. Let's trim it right there. All right, so she's going to trim that off, and uh, we're going to hunt down and see if that culture, that culture should have been back by now. But I know the antibiotic is working because obviously the infection is, is, uh, is going away, and that uh, gauze that we pulled out was a lot cleaner looking than the last one. The one we pulled out on Monday really looked infected. All right, buddy. We're going to see you back on Friday, okay? Uh, can we do afternoon? Yes, we can do fr uh, yeah, Friday afternoon. I'll be here. Cool. All right, buddy. We'll see you then. All right, Let's man. get started. It's Leo. Mr. Leo the Lion. Yes, sir. You ready to get this out? 
Yes, sir. You know, we got your culture back, and it indeed was infected. Uh, you had you grew out Proteus mirabilis in your culture, mm. and it was sensitive, of course, to the antibiotic I gave you. So we uh, we selected correctly from the beginning. So we're going to pull this packing out now, and as long as the wound does a fairly good job of staying open, go ahead whenever you're ready. All right, count of three. One, two, three. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, that looks actually looks real good to me. I'm gonna get in real close. That wound is nice and clean, mm -hmm. and just kind of clean it with a little peroxide. Uh, then we don't have to pack this, okay? Cool. So just rinse it out once a day with peroxide, and uh, uh, you're gonna be good to go. You won't have to uh, have any more packing. How's that sound? Yes. Sounds like a better <laughs> weekend. Yeah. And you don't have to come up here and. Uh, Come see us next week. And if you want to come visit, you're yeah, welcome. Yeah, you can come if you want. You're welcome, but you don't have to. I've, been, had, I've had a great time with you guys, but... A week's it, enough, right? Yeah. <laughs> Believe it, it was only a week ago that we uh, made the initial incision. All right, so uh, we're just going to put a uh, bandage over this and send you home. And uh, if you have any other further problems or anything, just let us know, okay? Sounds good. Hey, man, you've been a great sport. Thanks like for letting us kind of record your whole event here. No problem. Whole event. The whole event. That's right. The whole <laughs> infected event. All right, bud. Thanks. Hi, my name is Melissa, and I've been taking medicine for about three months right now. So far, I'm really loving this product. It's definitely helped me steer off of energy drinks, caffeine. That was my goal. I'm definitely trying to be a little bit more fit. So I would definitely recommend this product on Amazon. So catch me in the next three months, see how's it going. But so far, I'm loving this product. Order yours today. There's an Amazon link in the description below. Hey there, Dr. Gilmore fans. We have an update about Coco Skin Plus. It's the newest supplement from the marvelous mind of Dr. John Gilmore. The proprietary mix of high potency biotin extra virgin coconut oil and vegetable extracts is great for thicker hair, stronger, healthier nails, and softer skin. So if you notice your hair lacks luster, your nails aren't what they used to be, or your skin is dry and chapped, it's time to check out Coco Skin Plus. I've personally found that it's way easier to prevent chapped lips than it is to treat them. And I used to take a coconut oil supplement for it, so switching over to Coco Plus was an upgrade for me. It was for Kelly too, let's hear from her. I used to take regular biotin for thicker hair, so switching over to Coco Skin Plus was a no-brainer. Nice, we'll put an Amazon link below, so get your 90-day supply today.